Hey guys, it's Kraken Kroom, I'm back with another video, and we're still going on the comment that was posted two videos ago, and we're doing H142 now. First of all, we need to find point B, and point B is at X axis 2 and Y axis 3. So, you've got to find 2 on the X axis, this is the X axis, 2. Uh, mark the point, but you're going to have to rub it out soon. Then on the Y axis, this one, 1, 2, 3. Make a point there. Then you find where those two points meet on the positive place, and it's right here. So your first one, first point is going to be there. Don't scribble it in like I did. B. Point C. We find x axis five and a half and y axis three over two. So x equals five over two and y equals three over two. So now to find the x axis, you've got to find five over two, which is equal to two and a half. So this is on the x, one, two and a half. Then on the y, one and a half. One and a half. Now you find where those points meet, and you'll find that they meet right where this red point is. Oh, wait, sorry. Where this red point is. Then you can rub out all your stuff, and then just put the red point, and then label it. C. Then the next one, uh, point D, X is negative 2 and Y is negative 1. X negative 2 here, so it's negative. Wait, sorry. Not there, it would be negative 2 is there and negative 1 is there, those meet at this point here, so this would be your point, and you would label that D. Next question, you would do, this as point E, X3, and Y0. X3 is here, not there is here and y zero will just be here so they meet at this point here so this would be your point and you'll label that e and then f negative five on x and seven over two so that's equal to three and a half one two three and a half and that comes along to here and that comes along to here and this would be a point you label f find point a point a would be at four one four on the x-axis and one on the y which is here and you'll find that that meets at that point there so this would be your point you would call A. Point B, X0, which is here, and Y minus 3, which is here. And those points meet at this point. So this point would be your B. Point C, negative 3. 3 over 2, so negative 1 and a half, and 5 over 2, which is equal to 2 and a half, 1, 2 and a half. Those two points meet right here, so that would be your point you label C. D would be 5 minus 3, negative 3, which is here, those two meet here. So this would be your point you call D. Now, point something 
of the above point lies on the y axis. So now you look at all of these here, all of those four questions, and which one lies on the y axis. And to find this out, you'll have to find which one x is equal to 0. So first, to find out the y. So if x equals 0 on one of them, that means it's on the y axis. So you can find that x equals 0 here. So then point B of the above points lies on the y axis. Next page. So first of all, point point B would be 4, which is here, and 5, and they both meet at that point. So you would label that point B. Point C, 0, and negative 2 on Y, which is here. So that would be point C. Point D, 1, 2, 3, negative 3 over 2, which is equal to negative 1 and a half. Negative 1 and a half. So you go from that point, go negative 1 and a half. So this is D. E is just in the middle because it's 0 on both X and Y. F, negative 2 and negative 3.5 because 7 over 2 is negative is equal to that. So negative 1, 2, 3 and a half, which is there. That would be point F. And then for the next page, point A, negative 4 and 2 would be there. Point A. Point B would be 0, which is here. And then 5 over 2, which is equal to 2.5, which would be here. B. And C would be 5 over 2 and 0. So 1.5 here and 0, so just simply there. Point D is negative 5 over 2. Negative 5 over 2, and you start at the X. So it would be here and negative 3 over 2 which is equal to negative one and a half, which would be here, that's D. On the, of the above points, point something lies on the X and point something lies on the Y. So before I said if something lies on the Y axis, it means X is equal to zero, which is here, X is equal to zero. So point B lies on the Y, and if something lies on the X axis, that means zero has got to equal Y. So that means it would be point C. That's it for today and thank you for watching. Please uh, comment videos you would like to see next and yeah, subscribe please.